Hello and welcome to Crash Landing with me, the most of you, aka Mr. Surrett. So I have another unfortunate, an, an unfortunate opening to this episode. Um, I died again. Yeah, died, lost the whole world again. Fortunately for me, I was smart enough to before I started playing last episode. I um, I saved. Yeah. I guess we could say that. I I didn't exactly save, as you can't do that, but I did make a backup. So we're still here, in a copy of a copy of the world. It's kind of cheating, but this is YouTube, and that's the way things work. Anyway, picking up where we left off, I guess. Uh, eating fish, always a good thing. Collected quite a few of those, actually. Where's my book? Right there. Ooh, I thought I'd just gone into there. Okay, we have unlocked our second what are they called? Quest line, that's it. And we done that simply by finishing off the metals. I think I got the hard energy cell out of that one from memory. I it was a while ago. It was all of probably yesterday, so I can't exactly remember. Putting a bit of iron through now, we don't really there's no reason for it. There's no quest exactly, but we will need quite a bit of it. One thing I do want to make before I forget, however, He's going to need a few of you. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's what killed me. The jungle tree. Uh, turns out, big jungle trees are bad. Because they spawn mobs up very high. And little baby zombies are very hard to hit when they're running around killing you. Anyway. Let's get ourselves a bowl. we will come in handy. One of you. Uh, let's get bo bone meal first. I thought that would have made three. Apparently makes four. One of you there, and something like this. Ah, there we go. Watering can. Watering cans do work in this mod pack, and we've already filled it up. They work on quite a lot of this food here, which will come in handy. Sunflowers. These are really great. Oh, carrots too. I've oh, I've collected carrots. Uh, yeah, I've picked up some carrots. I was just talking to myself the other day. Not to myself exactly, but thinking to myself, I haven't got carrots yet. I've got potatoes every every time, every night I kill a zombie, I get a car uh, potato, no carrots. And as soon as I said that, every night since I've got carrots and no potatoes from them. Not complaining. That's an extra food source. Uh, and you're just saying that it was sucked up by my cactus farm. The cactus farm. This here is not really ideal. I'll admit. It's. I've just put it down here like this because of room restrictions, really. It does mean I've had to make an extra vacuum hopper, but they're not too difficult to make. So, yeah, not, not, a, not a big problem, really. I'm quite useful, actually. So we will change this around a little bit, make it a little bit more efficient. Why did I want cactus? Well, it is a food source. You can... Ow, ow, ow! You can... You know, you just seen there the vacuum hopper sucking it up. You can make it into food with bone, with your stock, I think it is. You can make cactus soup. But it does have another use, and the watering can does work on cactus, by the way. We'll see if we can get a little bit more going. Oh, there we go. Oh, two more. Excellent. Anyway, grab eight of you. Head around to my crafting bench. I've also got a bit of sand that I've melted up. Let's make a few more of these. And that's plenty. That's quite a few, actually. There you go. Water. It's um, a very easy recipe. As long as you've got a crafting bench and an empty water can, or a water glass bottle, you can make yourself as much water as you want from cactus. So that's a very easy way of getting water. You don't need to melt anything, you don't need to power anything, all you need is cactus and a crafting bench. Oh, hello, tomatoes. I still haven't picked that up. Now we got it. Alright, killed a few endermen last night as well. What else do we have here to get rid of? That'll do for now. And oh yeah, get rid of some of these things. 
I am addicted to making daggers. I don't know why, but I just keep making daggers. I've got tons of them now. Maybe not tons. Well, it depends on how much they weigh. I have no idea how much they weigh, but I've got a lot of them. A lot more than I'll ever need. Alright, what else do I want to do today? Put you away. I'm probably not going to need you. Maybe. I do want... Actually, can we make chisels? Can we make... Pretty sure we can. Yes, we can. I just want to... Get a little bit of cobble. Oh, pfft, that's what I was making. <laughs> that's what I was making. I was making my cobble gen. Automating it, at any rate. Finishing the automation. Alright. Plonk you right there. We need a transfer node. And here they are down here. Transfer node. Thankfully, uses an ender pearl. Which we have quite a few of. Transfer pipes. Uh, it's going to need a little bit more glass. Alright, maybe I shouldn't have used all that glass up. Don't worry, I know where I can get more. Oh! Come on. I've had to rebuild this a couple of times. The lava, the lava's not a problem. It's the, <laughs> the dust underneath that I keep accidentally hammering up. Alright, give me eight of you. I want to be as efficient as possible. Where'd my hammer go? I'll collect a little bit more sand and cook this up. Just for the glass. Alright, I didn't have any glass in here, I don't think. Apart from that one, of course. So we'll take you. We need some slabs. We're going to need a few more than that, though. Oh, let me out. That sure. Wow, we've got a lot of those glass vials now. I'm going to make a little bit more than I need, I think. Hmm, yes. No, actually, because you get 32. What am I doing? You get a ridiculous amount when you make these. Oh, well, I will use the slabs eventually, I'm sure. A uh, piece of you. One of you. Or all four of you. Transfer nodes. Excellent. We are going to use a few of these. We're also going to need a few of them for our transfer nodes. Put that glass away. Right, what else will we need for the transfer node? Ah. Alright. Well, we need two more of you. And I've just realised that's connected. I don't need to keep going backwards and forwards. I am going to need a little bit more wood. Dang, that didn't work. Thank you. You do need quite a few of these eventually to make your different plastic sheets and the like. What was I doing over here? Wood. Yeah, this one. Okay. Two of you. Thank you very much. I need one of you. One of you, I think. Maybe. A couple of you. Um... I'm just making this up and I'm, I know I'm getting it wrong. Uh, not too far off, actually. A couple of you. Junk leaving there. And that ender pearl that I put away. I'll put you in here. Now, the strange thing about using ender pearls is you get four transfer nodes. If you use a block of redstone, you get one. Personally, I find ender pearls a little bit easier to find. Redstone's not always guaranteed. But we got it. So that'll do. Plonk one down there. Get our transfer pipe. And we are filling up our cobble. How easy is that? <laughs> it's so easy. It's a little too easy. Some people refuse to use this system because it's too easy. It's already been pointed out that cobble is not really the focus of the pack and once you really get going into the pack you don't need a great deal of it so why bother restricting the transfer nodes at least that's my understanding of why it's 
so easy to get. Uh, will you work there? Maybe? Uh, we do have a crook. Let's just trim you back a little bit. Not going to plant another jungle sapling. We got what we wanted out of it for the time being. Eventually we will probably will use the jungle saplings with a nice little harvester. That will get us a bunch of vines and jungle leaves as well as the wood. Which will itself... Actually I needed that. What did I do that for? Which will give us tons of water. Eventually. Once we've got a power source going. Want another chest is what I want. I'm just going to whack it down here. We're going to give ourselves a double chest worth of cobble. This here will eventually fill up. It won't affect it that it's full up. It'll just, I don't know, hang out, keep doing its thing. Don't need a little night time again. Jeez. Well, let's have a look if our watering can works on this tree. It's basically bone meal. It's just a little bit slower than ordinary bone meal. It can do some pretty strange things with grass as well, giving you all kinds of saplings. Maybe. If it wants to. Apparently it doesn't. It's kind of like watching paint dry though, so we're not going to bother with it too much. That tree may never grow. It could still be too close to these this tree here. Oh, more of you. I'll take you. Thank you. They don't grow fast enough or often enough for me to ignore. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my carrot. Thank you. Water's going good. <coughs> Losing my voice a little. <coughs> Alright, let's whack this way. Must have already done that. Get rid of these transfer nodes. What I will do... I want to get our smeltery up and running. You can pump cobblestone directly into the smeltery as well, which is pretty alright. So I will end up doing that. That gives you seared bricks, which means you can expand the smeltery. The thing with that, sure, seared bricks, expanded smeltery, great and everything. Oh, hey now. Mighty smelting, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, there are better there are better machines, I guess, multi-blocks, that you can use to melt down your items, which will give you triple the ore out, the, uh, yeah, out, turn, out, come, out, whatever, <laughs> you get triple. Oh, gross, running around everywhere, collecting everything. So we need, we need Tinkerer's Construct, please. We're going to need a uh, controller. Oh, well it needs more seared brick. Let's grab a little bit of this I got ready earlier. No, don't do that. Probably not enough, but I need to start. Actually, I'm pretty sure it won't be enough. Uh, we need more gravel, well. I have been... Oh, yeah, that's right. I have been putting a lot of my gravel back through the autonomous activator over there, through the sieve. Not so much with the sand, so we've got a little bit more sand than we do gravel, surprisingly. So just grab a few more pieces of gravel though. You can automate making gravel just using a clicker over there, but I'm not going to do that. I don't really need to. Oh, that's good. Still got a little bit more there. That's even better. I made a lot more grout than I thought I would out of that. Oh, we need a fuel source. Well, we've got a chest here full of fuel source. And I'm going to need about 12, I reckon. That'll get both lots up and running. We'll collect you. How are we going over here? Well, we may as well collect it all and use it. Where's my watering can? I want one more, please. One more. Come on. There we go. 
Oh, okay, we got two more. <laughs> I only want one. That should make a fair few. Oops. Six more. Wow. So no cooking up dirty water anymore. I can just make it straight like that. Let's whack a couple on right away. That'll keep me going. And that's going to be a lifesaver, especially with the watering can working on cactus. Whenever you need a little bit, you can just make yourself look some water. Oh, don't go up there. No, was that just a brute? I thought it was a fisherman. I probably prefer the fishermen. Brutes just give flint. I mean, whatever. But fishermen give fish. Which is one of my main food sources. Just about live off the stuff. Alright, I think we've collected enough of those mobs down there. Oh, dang it. I threw my dagger. Got an extra one. Uh, I accidentally threw my dagger right up and <laughs> over. So I had to make another one to, to kill the mobs so I could go get it. Get rid of these. This will give me a lot more... A lot more of what I don't need, actually, to be honest. This is more just because I want to make this dagger. <laughs> I want to upgrade the dagger and find out what I get. There's a little barber spider over here. Oh, it wasn't a barber spider, it was a small spider. Either way, it's dead now. Ooh, a few creepers. I was asked how you deal with the creepers. Probably already answered it, but that's how you deal with the creepers. They don't really... as long as you're back against the wall, they won't get you. Ooh, hey, you've got my chest piece on. Oh, you do too. If only I could pick it up. Which I can't. Two shot the creepers. Oh, I'm starving. And we got ourselves smart, that's good. Let's eat some potatoes. When you are starving, you don't hit for as much damage, so... Two shot. A zombie. And we can't collect any of that. Brilliant. And you've got a chess piece for me. Alright, well... Oh. He wants a piece of me. Beheading now. Okay, this one's turning out to be alright. Oh, did I throw it? To me, all right is any that doesn't have fiery. Fiery is good for killing mobs, but it's very bad for killing endermen. Let's just get rid of some junk in here. There we go. So we can go collect that stuff. Oh, how's our grout going? It's coming along. Good, good. Put a little bit more in there, keep that going. Go collect those chess pieces. Are you legendary yet? No, oh, you're Grandmaster. One more. Give me looting. Where are you going? Come back here. Oh, they're all dropping their chests. Bit of... Oh. Are we too full up for a piece of iron? Okay, smart. That's not bad. We are. Huh. But I really want that iron. Guess we're going to have to drop off a few more things. I like to think that I just one-shot that skeleton, but I'm pretty sure it would have burnt already. Alright, we can get rid of you. And... Oops, not you. That'll do for now. That'll hopefully do for now. Let's... Oh, got a head. Good. Collect that iron. Good. Now yeah, you're legendary. Yeah, you are. <laughs> There's really no reason for it. I just like making these daggers. I don't mind you. Sharpness, which is kind of useless, but... Oh, some spider eye soup. That'll be lovely. Before this episode's out, I want to get at least one 
Oh, well, at least some of the smeltery going. Drop you off, some potatoes. More mob type stuff. Yep, yep, good. Some iron and flint. Iron's coming along, but it's nowhere near enough. You do go through a lot of iron in this pack. Alright. Oh, oh, okay. Can't use you. Didn't want to anyway. We'll use you. Okay, we need one of those. Don't really need another one, but we've got another one. We need one of those. We're going to need that glass, actually. For our tank. Very good. Which tank is it? Actually, we're going to need a drain as well. One of those. And I can't see anything over there. Alright. And we're going to need one of these. Okay. Okay, just one piece of glass. Alright, we got all the basic stuff. We do need a lot more seared brick, however. We're just going to build this guy over here somewhere. For the time being, anyway, we can always move him. And I'm considering building myself another crucible dedicated to lava production to feed this thing. We're going to need a few more of those, actually. And a few more again. Maybe this was not enough grout. I keep it simple. You can use the sea glass tanks. Just use a little bit of... Oh, windows, sorry. Just use a little bit of glass. And if you're going to make the sea window, it actually uses a little bit more seared brick. So, kind of silly to do that. One short. Get in there. Alright, we've got our floor down. Over here we are going to put the controller. The drain. Hmm. I'm going to put the tank here. And the drain here, I think. Alright, we need you. Need another basin is what we need. Okay, we're also going to need... A little bit more cobble. And a little bit more sand and gravel. That's the purpose of that. That's going by threes. That's actually pretty fast. So I think we're pretty much at the end of the episode. But I do want to get just a little bit more of this done before we finish up. So, might be an extra long episode. I don't actually, re I don't uh, set a timer, so I have no idea how long the episodes are going for. Just over, it's almost two years of doing this now, and pretty much get a feel for when you've gone over. It doesn't always work out, of course, but so we got six more blocks of clay over there, I think, from memory. So that's going to need about twenty-four. 24 gravel, 24 sand. Looks like we might need to get a little bit more sand going. We'll finish this here off anyway. I still have a, a block of lava, a lava source, underneath that one over there, which is the reason why I haven't removed it. Oh no, we've only got three. Oops. Well, well that makes it easier, I guess. a little bit more sand. So we're going to have to make a lot more a lot more clay by the look of it. But water is not really a big issue anymore. We killed a bit of the grass there. Not a problem. There's 24 more. Which is going to use up another 3 charcoal. I might have to make a little bit more charcoal as well. 16 more of you. Thank you. 
Oh, actually I needed that for the basin. Not to worry. Let's get down here. Collect our dust. There we go, that's where we're going to put the basin. So we need one, two, three, four, five more. And a basin. So we need quite a bit more of this. Actually, yeah, we should, we should have enough doing the basic maths there. It's just going to take a little bit of time to get this all cooked up. So maybe, seeing as we've got an abundance of cobble, oh, I don't want all of it. Why don't we get another furnace going? Oh, that's right, we can't use that one. We can, I just, I'm too lazy. Ah! <laughs> uh, do we have... No, of course not. But we do have a little bit of you. I'll make one that stands up. Couple of you. Another furnace. Not really needed, but wanted, so we got it. Give me half of you and half of you. Work you in there. There we go. Another one of you, please. And look at us, just a couple more. Got enough of the basin now, at least. And another one of you. We didn't really need the basin or the drain. We could have just used the old ones over here. But I like to... I like to have its own dedicated... I'm going to probably keep using this one here. It won't be for ores. Actually, this here will probably become the lava generation for over here. Smack you down there. Grab our bucket, because we're going to need that for... Oh, that was good. Ah, that's great for moving our first thing of lava. Where are we? Two more of you. One, two, not many more needed. And it's still there, good. Good, good, good. Take you, please. Hopefully that doesn't heat us up. I know being near lava does. Not too sure if being near a bucket will. Let's get, come on, one more, two more. That should be all we need. Put the lava in there. Excellent, we have got ourselves our smeltery. All right, so what's gonna happen over here is, once all this is gone, I'm going to start pumping cobble into it. Actually, oh, huh. Let's give me that. Whack you in there, change you around. That is going because of that. That is going to put a whole bunch of cobble in there. Hmm. You know what? Don't like it. Don't like it. So we're going to waste a little bit of cobble here. We want none of that. What we did want was that chest right there. Nope. Nope. We're overheating here. Chest. Good, good, good. Put you there. Transfer node. We don't need you there anymore. There we go. Alright, um, so yeah, we've got a little bit of extra cobble here. We can whack some of it through here and make some more seared brick. But what we really need to do is grab ourselves some water 
because we are dying. There we go. Oh, oh, there you go. This will make seared brick. Or it'll actually make melted stone or something along those lines. We need... Still dehydrating. No, there we go. We need one of our books is what we need. Material, actually I think... It's not that one, it's that one that I need. Gravel, dust, goodbye. Uh, we didn't actually need the basin, that'll make blocks. Oh, that, that was wrong. We needed the casting table. Well, the basin also works, so... Not a real big issue. We'll get one of those. One of those, and... I guess another drain? One of those. Filling our inventory up. Oh, yeah, I can't actually... Pick it up. There we go. Hey, it worked. Yeah, if you put your materials anew, you, your first volume, into the casting bench, the casting table, put a little bit of seared brick on it, you get yourself one of these, still working and new. And that'll show you all about the upgraded version of the smeltery, I guess it is, the high oven. This will produce three times as much. So really, the smeltery, you don't actually need it. <laughs> to be honest, you don't need it. But we got it, so... Might as well put all this up here. It's a little bit down there wasted. We got one in there, don't we? We do. Dang it. Alright, well let's just grab a little bit more iron. We're low on food too. Not you, you. Oh boy. And dust in there. One, two, three, four. That hopefully will be enough. Nope. Uh, right in there. Gimme, 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 gimme. Thank you. Now what I'm going to do is, apart from staff, I'm going to end up putting this here over here and we're going to make ourselves a bunch of seared bricks. Just to expand this, like I said, we don't actually need it. It's It will be made obsolete reasonably fast. But, I like it and I'm addicted to it. So, like the daggers, we are going to use it. Just going to put a few more of you up there, why not? We get a full one then. Jump up here. Running low on our lava. Alright, but I'm probably going to do that off camera. I'll get a fair few more seared bricks and just add this another layer or two to this. I do want that ingot back so I can finish off the iron here. We're going to end up having this pump out lava straight into our tank over here is the plan. But that is all something that is either going to have to wait till next episode or until I'm off camera. Well, that's it for this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I will see you, hopefully, next episode. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh. Whew. Stupid little spider. See ya.